Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? My name is PBJ, or Justin, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about a new, pretty cool gaming thing coming out. I'm sure you might have seen a few advertisements, if you're watching YouTube videos, of Google's attempt at a console, the Stadia. Now, I was originally going to upload a video about my trip to Shinkatink, Virginia. I might upload a video on that. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys again for support and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, let's get in. So, without getting a little too nerdy right here, okay, because everything beyond this point, I'm going to get pretty nerdy, okay? Like, you just, you just have to, you just guys have to prepare yourself here. So, Stadia, it, at its simplest, is a cloud-based gaming service that allows you to basically stream video games on any platform you want, like your TV, or your phone, or your laptop, or your PC, or anything like that. And it sounds pretty cool. And even in a more simpler terms, it's basically the, the accessibility and the portability of the Nintendo Switch combined with the power of an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. That's about as simple as it's going to get before I start talking about everything else. So what 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 is it run at? You guys probably want to know. So this is when all the nerdy stuff starts coming in. So you guys probably want to know well, like what, how, how does this thing run? So at its recommended, I believe it's 30 or it's 35 megabytes a second internet speed because you need to connect to internet. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but you need to connect to internet to be able to play it. And I believe at 30 or 35 megabytes a second, you're able to get 4K, Ultra HD, HDR rendered at uh, 60 FPS, which is not bad at all. That is really good. I personally don't have any 4K TVs at my house. At least I don't think I do. I don't think I have any 4Ks. I only have 1080Ps. Uh, so for me, it's not really going to matter that much. I mean, it's still going to look good with the HDR. Uh, but yeah. And at the lowest, which I believe is 5 megabytes a second, which I'm pretty sure is almost dial-up internet, um, you get 720p gaming, I believe, at 60 or 30 FPS, which... Like I said, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, that kind of got into the crazy stuff there. Uh, for TVs, you need a Chromecast. Um, you can buy Google's own package thing, which I'm probably not going to buy. Because uh, I already have a Chromecast. And if not, I might just try it on my PC. So, uh, you know, with Stadia announcing this, they made their own kind of... E3 announcement that they didn't really do much at E3. Um, but uh, with that release and uh, unveil, you know, a lot of people started kind of getting concerned. Not in, in, in some good ways. So, some are kind of weird, though. And the most, the most um, criticism I hear about Stadia comes from the fact that it's cloud-based. And cloud-based meaning you don't actually own the game. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you guys back to about uh, a few years ago and of a little gem of a console called the PlayStation 3. Now, the PlayStation 3 is the console I grew up with. It's my, it was my very first console. Actually, it was my dad's, but uh, we, we don't talk about that here. Uh, but it is the console that I have the most games for uh, compared to uh, my, I believe my Switch is second. Uh, but, and as you can probably tell by this gameplay, I'm, I'm playing this on a PS3. Yeah, I'm playing Call of Duty on a PS3. I know, shocking, guys. Clearly, you know, crazy. But the thing about the PS3 is that you didn't have to install these games, okay? You didn't have to... If you bought the disc and you put it in the system, you didn't have to download, you know, 45 gigabytes of space just so you could play the game. No. 
if you put that game in the PS3, you'd already be able to play the game, which is pretty cool. So the thing that a lot of people make is that it's cloud-based, and that if Google and Google Stadia shuts down, you're going to lose all of your games. That is, you know, kind of concerning. It's everybody's main concern with this console, and it kind of makes sense. You know, if you seriously want a game on this thing, and I think a lot of people are because they're appealing to this dude bro culture and gaming and hardcore epic hack and slash stuff then you're gonna want you're gonna want to like keep those games like imagine if some you know imagine if they uh, imagine if some guy literally just came in my house stole my ps3 games and just left you know i that kind of suck okay i still play the ps3 guys um but yeah i mean that's basically the point a lot of people make and my counter argument to that is, really, dude, you think Google's gonna shut down anytime soon? Yeah, it probably will one day, um, but probably by that time you're not you're gonna move on to a different console, or or they'll have some some other form of that, and you know you just have to get used to it. And yeah, that's that kind of argument disputed. Uh, let's move on to the next argument, which is, it, <clears throat> sorry, it doesn't look as nice. And, yes, I mean, it's basically, you're playing a game on a browser, okay? Like, it's not gonna look as well as having a, you know, actual console there. Like, th that, that's expected, okay? That's why... Like, the people who have tried tech demos and stuff like that of Stadia, they're always like, oh, it sucks because, oh, gosh, dude, it's just, oh, it's just so, it's it just seems different. But, you know, either people, you know, notice that difference or they don't notice that difference. They, like, it, no, I, don't, I can't really explain it because I haven't tried a tech demo. But judging from what, you know, Google is a, pretty trustworthy thing i think guys if they've been around for a pretty long time they're pretty trustworthy so judging by their advertisements advertisements if you will th they seem to be pretty confident in this okay like really confident in this and it's the next big thing and they've been working on it for 12 years and to me that's really cool that's that's kind of why I kind of want to buy Stadia because it's just so different from everything we've seen before. You know, we've seen plug and play, or no, sorry, not. Well, I guess it could be plug and play. Yeah, you've seen like USB game sticks and stuff like that. Like the OUA, yeah, that flopped hard. It was the biggest Kickstarter project, but it flopped bad because it used USB. And it, it was bad. Like, it didn't have a good processor. And there were basically, the library was terrible. But see, you know, Stadia comes in and kicks everybody's butts. Like, literally in every way. So, like I said, think, as, think of Stadia as the accessibility, portability of the Nintendo Switch. And combine that with the power of a PS4 or Xbox One. And you have the Stadia. So... Do I think, in my opinion, is it a good, is it a good thing? Do I think it's going to change the face of gaming forever? Yes, absolutely. I think with Stadia releasing, they're going to, this is going to be the next big thing. Now, just because it's going to be the next big thing, do I think that, you know, it's going to be good? There are definitely some counter arguments and there are some, um, cons to using Stadia over over a Xbox or a PS4 or a Nintendo Switch. They're basically every other console before that. But I think if you really care about Stadia and you really like just want to live in the moment, you really want to just be in the future, then you're probably going to have to live with Stadia. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me blabber on about tech stuff for about almost 10 minutes now uh thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys want to see more commentaries 
or story times like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But don't do that. I need my monies. Um, but yeah. My name is PBJ, or Justin. And as always, have a nice day.